wait 10 minutes, please. We'll be right back. Sure, I'll be right back. Hey, what do we got here? Uh, victim's a white male shot in the back, no wallet, no ID. Mm. Anybody see? Dentist down the main floor saw a guy come down the stairs and at the front door. Now, he said he thought the guy had a gun in his hand. Oh, yeah? Did you give a description? No, I only saw him from the back. Uh, Tracksuit, light hair. I uh, haven't talked to everybody yet. Okay. Go downstairs get a couple of harnesses to help you canvas the building. Don't let anybody leave until they come and see us first. Yeah, all right. Thanks. Looks like he was coming up the stairs. Mm, two shots, huh? Both in the back. Excuse me. 
There's a dead woman up here. I don't know if anybody noticed yet. <laughs> I think it's a chopstick. Oh, that's a first. Yeah, well, the way she's lying face up like that doesn't strike me as an accident. Not unless she got takeout, eaten on the run, slips, loses her shoe, accidentally jams the chopstick into her eye socket, goes down, chopstick hits the ground, gets jammed in deep just like that. Oh, yeah, that's a believable scenario. <laughs> that's why you got the call. This is going somewhere bizarre, I got a feeling. Mm -hmm. See that woman over there? She found a body. Hey, what does she know? So she used to talk to the victim every morning walking their dogs. The victim's name is Alice Revelstoke. Mm. What time did she find the body? Seven o'clock. She's uh, she's a little worried about the victim's dog, Norton. Yeah, one of those little Jack Russells must have run off when this happened. Mm. Did she see anyone hanging around? Anything suspicious? She says the sidewalk was clear, but she couldn't be sure. There might have been somebody around. Mm. Hey, anything yet from the neighbors? We're checking those houses, but nobody's seen anything yet. Copy that. Cosmo. Looks like she was in the process of picking up after her dog when it happened. Maybe somebody came up behind her, a robbery attempt. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe she wouldn't notice, but the dog would. And those little terriers are yappy as hell. A chopstick, that's just too freaky. <laughs> What's the story? Got an old guy passed away in the entrance here. This guy knows him. Oh, yeah? You a friend of his? Yeah, I know him. His name's Oli. Oli? And this is uh, his usual spot to sleep, is it? I don't know. Got a cigarette? Cigarette, no, sorry. No, but don't go away. I'll stick around here, okay? Oli. Those are damp. Probably wet himself. Sorry, what was your name? Sam. Yeah, Sam. Your friend, uh, is he a drinker? No, not that I know of. And how do you support himself? Panhandling. You're the coroner, right? Yeah. You see that thing? It looks like a parking meter. They're putting them all around downtown here. They want you to put their money into that instead of giving it to guys like I said. Well, they say the money's going to charity. Yeah, well, that's, that's not anything to do with me at all. I, I, I don't know what to tell you, really. Uh, does Oli have any family you know about? No. You know, it's cold in here generally, even the cement's cold. Is it still here? When are you going to get rid of this? What, what, uh, what are you actually talking about, sir? This. It's blocking my door. How long is it going to be here? This, sir, is a man. And he's blocking the door to my apartment, and I'd appreciate it if you could deal with it as quickly as possible. Excuse me. Excuse me, did you say you lived here? Yeah, I do, and I spent almost half a million dollars to do so. And I'm sick and tired of having to face this kind of thing every morning and every night. Well, you find a dead man in your stoop every morning and every hey, night? Hey, is look, that what you're saying to I me? come home, I have to run a panhandler's gauntlet. There's someone sleeping in my doorway. It stinks of urine and vomit, and I'm sick of it. Oh. Shame to bring my friends home. Could you please just get rid of them? What's your name? Philip Sim. And you? Well, what's my name? That's right. Da Vinci. Dominic. Two wins. Well, Mr. 
sins. Two ounces. That's the deceased man that's in your doorstep there, and he's gonna remain there until I decide or not. For you, sir, will remain an asshole forever. Zipper, you just pull it over your head. You got one shot to the back there. I found that wallet in the purse. Here's the ID. Sasha Pasco. So what are you thinking? I don't know. Maybe she's coming down the stairs, sees the guy get shot, the shooter doesn't want any witnesses, so he goes up after her and he gets her running away. Bang. Yeah? Or not. I mean, almost anything could be happening here. Maybe she got shot first. Guy coming up the stairs sees it, and then I just gotta shoot him. Huh? I gotta talk to you. Jimmy's resigning. It's wishful thinking. No, no, no. I heard him say that he's gonna go work for the attorney general's office. Sure, Mark. Well, I know what I heard. And then he shot me and looked like I wasn't supposed to hear and did that thing with his time when he's covering. He did that. Wayne, is that the old guy from the street just rolling in now? Yeah. Did you want him bumped up the list? Oh, could I? I'd really appreciate it. No problem. Beautiful. Listen, can you do me a favor? Can you find out if there's a short list on that job? And if, you know, if, if, if my name's on it? If you're in it, you don't want that job. What about hell freezing over? Well, you know, some asshole comes in here making life miserable for everybody. You know, I just might be interested. You know, we're looking at it. You know, it's like some junior jerk off uh, old school buddy of his. Do you want that? I'll see what I can do. Oh, thank you. Sonny, Sonny, can you do this old guy here for me? I appreciate sure. it. Sure. What's the story? I don't know. Nothing, maybe. I don't know. It's just that some guy in the scene really pissed me off. Did you hear about Jimmy? No. What? He's leaving. Really? You going for it? Well, you think I should? Well, you've got the experience. I can't see you riding a desk, though. That'll just drop you down. <laughs> some English theater company on tour of Western Canada when they went tits up. The second victim is two floors up. What we're thinking is the gunman was standing here, waiting around having a smoke. Hey, uh, I got a cabbie downstairs. It says he uh, dropped a man and woman off. He uh, heard shots, guy ran out, he chased him. Said a man and a woman? Yeah. Maybe yeah. they were together. Good, he can ID him for us. He doesn't want him. What do you mean he doesn't want him? He, he says he doesn't want to see the bodies. He's squeamish. Oh, for Christ's sake. Look, just tell him to stay down there. When they wheel the bodies out, he can identify them then. Whether he wants to or not, he's going to look at them, right? Good? Good? Yeah, we'll go with that. Yeah. That's her. That's the other one, the woman. You said they were carrying two cases with them? Yeah, two black briefcases. He comes running out with them. Wait a sec. He comes running out with the same two cases the man and the woman went into the building with? Yeah, that's why I knew to chase the guy. I figured right away it was a robbery. Last my notebook. Maybe left it in the car. I'll go look. What about those cases? Any idea what might have been in them? No, they held on to them. Did you overhear any conversation on the way over here? No. Yeah. They were talking, but in Russian, which I don't speak. Yeah. Russian. Well, thanks a lot for your time, all right? Uh, we'll get a hold of you if you need something else. Just go home and put your feet up or something. Yeah, okay, that dead couple there, they were married. Sasha 
and uh, Vadim Pasco. They run a vending machine operation in Kelowna. You can find your notebook. We've got to go upstairs. Oh, shit. I'll go look at the car. Hello? Hi. Gabriella's birthday's coming up. Oh, of course. Of course it is, yeah. So, any idea what she wants this year? A piano. A what? I know, I know. I looked at them in the showroom. Expensive, but um, I'm okay for that if you are. Well, of course you are. And what you make as opposed to what I make, I don't think so. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with second hand or reconditioned. I could check there. Is something the matter? Oh, I just finished the autopsy on an infant. You know, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just don't seem to be able to do these cases anymore. I don't know. Why, 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 why can't you come up after work and we can have a drink together and just talk it out? Look, I gotta, I gotta get through this. I'll be okay. Your old guy? I'm thinking hypothermia. Of hypothermia? Excuse me, how is that possible? How is that possible, Sonny? It's too cold enough. Well, looks like he had a mild chronic pneumonia, so a couple of chilly nights might do it. He was malnourished as well. Hypothermia? Low body temperature leading to heart failure. That's right. Maybe he drank a bit. That would accelerate the heat loss. Did you find evidence that he drank? No, but I haven't got the talks back yet. Well, here's a guy on the scene. It's his buddy, and he's saying that he doesn't think he drank. Okay, so I guess he got a little wet in the rain and never warmed up. Rain? See, I, I don't really think it rained last night. Do you recall the rain? I don't know. I didn't notice. Excuse me? <laughs> I only notice when the sun comes out. Well, it didn't come out last night. I'm pretty sure of that. So, he got a little wet. He got a chill. Circulation's poor. That's my call. Hypothermia. Okay. People come and go. To tell the truth, most of the time, I don't even look at their faces. And this guy probably just would have been loitering around. I was in here, and I heard the shots, and I stayed put. Yeah? Didn't step out, take a look? No. I leave the heroics to you guys. Got an appointment book we can take a look at? They weren't coming here. I'm sure of it. All I've got is a 2 o'clock and 2.30 with the new strippers I'm auditioning. Yeah. What about prostitution? Any of the girls in there doing a little hooking on the side? The offending chopstick passed through the upper eyelid, the eyeball, and then fractured the bone at the back of the orbit. And then what, she bled into her brain? All right. Death would have been almost instantaneous, but uh, take a close look at that. Mm, the tip has been sharpened. Uh-huh. You know, I'm trying to understand the physics of this. How would someone manage to drive a chopstick in so deep? Through bone and everything. I don't know. This had to be almost hammered into her skull. Somebody comes up to you holding what? Okay, let's say a hammer. That's a weapon, right? He says, give me your wallet. What do you do? You run, you scream. You don't just stand there and let him pound a chopstick in your eye. Yeah, and we're not seeing any other signs of struggle or assault or anything. Only bruising is from where she fell. That's what I'm saying. Didn't fall from the sky. Jetliner drops a block of chemical crap from the toilet on someone's head. That I buy. Well, I'd have to say this is not accidental, definitely. Somebody had to use a lot of force to do this kind of damage. Shops to come aside. Well, yours, Angie. Walk up and down this hall all day long and never guess what was inside here. Uh, you mind telling me exactly what your business is? Uh, rare books and stamps. Rare books and stamps. That's right. I, I also have uh, some old documents, maps, that sort of thing. Mm, a little bit of mm. but everything, huh? That's right. Well, you weren't in this morning. Is that usual? Uh, no, usually I'm in by 8 o'clock. But my wife got sick, and I had to take her to the hospital. What you got? Uh, just a bad flu. Oh. 
You gotta keep an eye on that. There was a couple of people shot and killed out here today. You know anything about that? Oh my god. No. Why isn't there a name on your door? I, I used to, but since I took it off, I haven't had any break-ins. I have some valuable books here sometimes. Hmm. What's the most valuable book you have? I, I have it under the volcano worth about 10,000. 10 grand? Yes. The author died penniless. What's that got to do with it? Sorry? That he died penniless. We're here on a homicide. Get to the point, for Christ's sake. Were you expecting anybody coming up here today carrying valuable books? No. Huh? Yeah. You know, I got a stamp collection somewhere. I started it when I was a kid. Yeah? My brother and I had a coin collection that our aunt gave us. Really rare old coins. When we started the raid, you know, we took a little buffalo nickel here, a Liberty Head coin there. Yeah, yeah. Canadian coins are worth shit, though. I wish I still had it. I wish I had half the stuff I had as a kid. I had some good shit. I had this awesome baseball glove. You know, you smell something old like baseball leather. Just rocket you right back in time. Yeah, pink school erasers. I get a whiff of one of those, I'm back in grade three, looking out the window with the cherry blossoms behind the ball field. Mm. Hello, anybody in there? this in when you found the body and that was this morning that's right and it was you who found the body it wasn't somebody else i found him. okay yes he was there all night why do you say that i got a call on my answer machine about 2 a.m from one of the tenants saying there was a guy sleeping outside the doorway and can i go get rid of him well you actually live in the building here yeah bachelor in the basement comes with the job nice can't afford to live here no you and me both so, you got up, you came upstairs, and uh, you busted the guy. Uh-huh. I guess he came back after I went back to sleep. I want to take a little look around the front. Would you come with me? I want to take a look. Come on. The victim was single, worked at the blood bank. No ex-boyfriends hanging around, goes to church, walks her dog. Anybody find a dog yet? I've got the pound keeping an eye out. It's one of those Jack Russells. Yeah. I, uh, I used to have one of those. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Short-haired. Ginger. <laughs> well, I was never in one place long enough to have a dog. I had a parakeet one time. Mm. Well, I always felt bad leaving her at home all day. She ate every single pair of shoes I owned. <laughs> she, um... She got hit by a motorcycle. Hmm. That's too bad. See, that's another reason why I don't own a dog. They're a tragedy waiting to happen. Hmm. Well, um, get back on over to the neighborhood, re the surrounding houses. And, uh, another thing, different subject. Mm-hmm. Um, Detective Labricane, you get along? Um, yeah, sure. Well, I don't know him, really. Okay. Just wondering. Let me, uh, know what you have at the end of the day. I'm gonna chop something. Will do. Background of one of the victims? Sure. Feeling okay, Leo? I'm fine. Why? I don't know. You seem a little distracted. Oh, that's just the weather. Changing the weather like this messes up my sinuses. Hey. Hey, you. Hey. Where are you going? I'm looking for a friend. But, uh, you know what? I think I got the wrong floor. What do you got a bag? My stuff? Let me see. Give me the bag. Give him the bag. What do we got in here? Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. What is this? That's my grandmother's. Yeah? Your grandmother's still alive? She's dead. So this would be what, like your inheritance, Henry? Where were you going with this stuff? Look, I didn't steal any of that stuff. No, like you said, it's your grandmother's. Yeah, it's your granny's. Now, where were you going with this stuff? Look, that's an illegal search you just pulled. You a lawyer? I'm gonna give you a demonstration of an illegal search. You don't tell me where you were going with this stuff. So you want to tell me how he was sleeping and then how you got rid of him? Well, just kind of curled up there on his blanket and his mat. And then how did you move Oli along? I just kind of shoved him awake, you know? Oli, Oli, wake up, like that. Oh, so you know him? Sure, there's a character around here. Yeah. Now, that thing over there, that's a, that's a water tap, isn't it? Yeah. So you had no time to decide it. Maybe you're going to throw some water on him, maybe hose him down a little bit. You didn't think about something like that? No, come on. Well, you know, he died of hypothermia. His clothes were entirely wet. It didn't rain at all last night. I checked. OK. I got the call on the machine asking me to clear him out, but I didn't do it. I just went back to sleep. People sleep in doorways all over down here. I got up every time someone was in the doorway. I'd never get to sleep. Okay, so who was the tenant that phoned you at 2 o'clock in the morning? Why? Well, because I have to know if he was dead at that time. You know? I don't want to lose my job over this. Why would that happen? Because I called the guy back. I told him to go up and take care of it. I didn't. I have to know the name of the tenant. No choice. Give me the name. Philip Sims. Thank you. It's in the penthouse. I think he spells that with two M's, doesn't he? Probably. I appreciate it. Nothing's gonna come back on you. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah, I hope not. Yeah, open up. It's me, Mike. Hang on to that guy. Can I help you? Hope so. Vancouver homicide. We knocked on his store three times already today and nobody answered. Been busy. Yeah. Let me see your appointment book. Time you come in today? Early, about uh, 7.30. Anywhere in your busy day today, you hear any gunshots, sirens, things like that? Yeah, I heard. It, uh, it was just none of my business. Oh. What about this here? What about that, huh? Is that some of your business? I don't know. What's that? What the, what the hell did you do that for? There you go. Somebody stuck there. Come on, man. You're going to wrap that up. Look, here's the thing. Two people shot dead practically right outside the doorstep here. You don't even act curious. I don't know anything about it. Mm. Nobody coming up here carrying valuables to see you today? No. No, so I run a check on you. You're going to come up clean. Uh-huh. Right. I want you to write down a list for me, okay? Everybody's last name and telephone number who's coming up to see you today. Write it down. Who's going to pay for the glass? person on my way home or not has any relevance to his death. Did you speak to him on the way in? No, not that he would have comprehended you anything. You didn't attempt to move him in any way, did you? Give him a little nudge with your shoe, did you? No. 
Well, did you check to see if he was still alive? No. He's there almost every night. If he's not asleep in the doorway, he's out panhandling on the side. Well, you called the building manager and you asked him to go down and move him. Yeah, that's right. Did you check to see if he had done that? No, I assumed that he had. Did you check on your television security thing in the front door? Well, Were there anything look, that happened I don't there? understand exactly the point of your question. I just think it's very strange that Mr. Olson dies of hypothermia. He's wet. His clothes are wet. It didn't rain at all last night. Well, I hope you're having fun. But I really don't see what this has to do with me. I really don't have time for this. You have a bucket in your apartment, sir? What are you accusing me of, exactly? Well, I think that somebody dumped a bucket of cold water on Mr. Olsen, and that was a contributing factor to his death. And you're accusing me of that? Asking, not accusing. Conversation is over, buddy. No need to turn on the hoses. So is that a yes to the bucket, sir, or is that a no? That'll be a yes. Here, hold up. I should have you and Sonny over for dinner sometime. Yeah, we get the same night off at some point, I'll ask him. How's that divorce lawyer working out? Ah, fine. The wife still keeps calling me up every couple of days, though. Ex-wife. You said wife. I said ex. No, you didn't. You said your wife keeps calling you all the time. You gotta watch that. What's she calling you about? Ah, this and that. You know, everything. Nothing, really. You got a lot of history there. That never goes away. Best to remember the good times. There you go. You're all done. What you going to do that for, anyway? I just lost my patience with these assholes. It's okay, I'm all right. Of course. No, I'll, I'll look into it. Yes. I'm sorry if it's caused you any trouble. All right, then. Bye-bye. Thank you, Helen. <clears throat> Have you got a minute? Yes. Well, I overheard your phone conversation. You said something about resigning. That's right. Not because of me, I hope. No. Not because of you. <laughs> because I've done all I can here, and I've been asked to join the Attorney General's office. Oh. Well, have you started thinking about a replacement? I've had some conversations, and I think it would be inappropriate for me to continue this conversation with you. Was Dominic on the short list? Thank you, Helen. Because I think it would be inappropriate if he wasn't on that list. Thank you, Helen. No, thank you. Detective Cosmo, Vancouver Homicide. You the owner of the house? Yeah. Can I help you? Were you aware that a woman was killed right over there in the park this morning? Yeah, I heard about it. Her name was Alice Revelstoke. Did you know her? I don't think so. Should I? Well, the woman who discovered the body told me that you and Ms. Revelstoke got into an angry exchange a few days ago about her dog doing his business on your lawn. Oh, yeah, her. Well, that's a drag. Well, I put a lot of work into my garden. So you argued with her about that? It was only a couple of words. I, I, I said my yard wasn't a toilet. Okay. Can you tell me where you were this morning? Well, I've been on a tug doing a tow the last 48 hours. I, I just got home. I'll need the name of the tow company. Yeah, I Indian Arm. I heard that woman got hit in the eye with something. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, thanks. Oh. I noticed you got those little grave markers there. Yeah. My daughter found a couple of dead birds, wanted to bury them. Hmm. How the birds died, do you know? So, 
He said it was inappropriate on my part to ask, and I told him it was inappropriate on his part not to ask, which was probably totally inappropriate on my part, but I don't even know what's appropriate anymore. And there we stand on tiptoes, peering over the edge into chaos. What? Appropriate behavior, okay? Once we lose our sense of that, what else is there? Jimmy? Yeah. I have had a complaint from a Mr. Sims regarding your behavior. My behavior? What happened? Uh, well, what's his spin on it? Well, his spin is that you were rude to him, and then you escalated things by accusing him of having a hand in the death of this, uh, homeless person. Ole Olson. Ole Olson. Oh, do you believe that? Do you think that he contributed to the hypothermia? Possible. Possible, as opposed to plausible. You've pissed off the wrong guy again. Well, let me know when I piss off the right guy. Maybe we'll see some action. What kind of action are you looking for? Well, all these single residents he joins on the east side. Haven't you seen what's happening? They're all up for grabs for these heritage conversions, OK? You know, all the people living in them just get the boot. Where are they supposed to go? And you're trying to draw a direct line of connection between gentrification, this man's eviction, Mr. Sims, and a hypothetical bucket of water. Obviously. Well, Mr. Sims has asked for an apology. At which point, he's willing to let it slide. Huh. Why wouldn't you let me know that you're going to resign, Jimmy? I'd only just recently made up my mind. Is there a short list on that job? You've never expressed any desire for this job. If I did, would you recommend me? I don't think you have the temperament. And this confrontation with Mr. Sims is just one example. I, I don't have the temperament. I don't think so. And as it stands, Mr. Sims is still waiting for his apology. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're probably right about that one there. You know, I'm, I think I'm just gonna head over there and give him an apology. Because if ass kissing is a big part of this job qualifications, I wanna make sure that everybody right after the AG knows that I'm just as suitable as the next man. Or woman. Well, I'm talking to this guy at the door, and I see the three little crosses that his daughter made for the bird she found dead. Like a little pet cemetery. Yeah. Anyway, the guy tells me who he suspects of killing the birds. He thinks maybe with a pellet gun. What does he know about the suspect? Not much. He says the guy seems a little off. He can't say why. Anyway, I go down the block to this basement suite. Landlord let me inside. I found a crossbow behind the dryer in the laundry room. You, uh, you mean landlord invited you in for a chat? And through the course of the conversation, Coincidentally, you saw the crossbow. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I stumbled across it. All right, good. Um, we'll have Chick take a look and uh, see if it's capable of firing a uh, chopstick. And with what kind of velocity? Yeah, I'll get back to you, thanks. Mick, walk with me. Tell me about the double shooting. Where are we? So far, all we know is that the shooter was in the building waiting for them to arrive. Okay, so he knew they were going to that address. Yeah, to deal with business regarding whatever was in the bags. Top the narcotics? Yeah, they don't know the victims. They don't know anybody in the building. I don't think this is a dope murder. Do you think maybe somebody down there set these two up? Mm, could be, could not be. There's about 25, 30 businesses in the building. Talk to them all, and most of them seem legit. Most of them? 
Yeah, there's this uh, one guy, he's a jewelry meltdown. He's got you know, chains, rings, watches, and about three pounds of gold, all stolen. Could be they were going up to see him. We don't really know. Mm, who else? A uh, rare book and stamp dealer. He's got some very valuable stuff in the room, but uh, his alibi checks out. He was in the hospital with his wife. Okay, who's your pick? Well, none of them. Well, they got their hustles, but it doesn't appear they had any connection. What about the victim's background? Well, they're from Russia, Odessa. They uh, came over about 10 years ago, moved up to the Okanagan, settled down, opened up a little food vending operation. They're out of town, is. When did they get to Vancouver? Yesterday. Right from the bus station, straight to the building. Yeah, I called up uh, the Okanagan, talked to one of the neighbors. He said, nice people, do a lot of traveling to Europe, collect a little art. Excuse me, huh? What was the shooter wearing? Um, a black tracksuit stripe. What happened to Leo's hand? His hand? Yeah. Oh, he, uh, caught it on a nail. Everything's, uh, okay? Yeah. Yeah, I just can't really catch a break on this one, you know. I, uh, I don't want anybody carrying anybody else's load. Okay? Yeah. That's what he's wearing? You're sure? All right, that's great, thanks. What's with the drag suit? Huh? Well, you walk in there. All day yesterday, we're looking for the gunman, and you walk in and ask what he's wearing. You know he's wearing a tracksuit. That's about all we know. Okay, well, now we know it's got a hole in it. Joe, get rid of this stuff. It's disgusting. Yeah, I will. Have yeah. you smelled it? Yeah, I have. A couple people came by this afternoon. It's important that we honor them. Get rid of it, Joe. If you don't remove it, then I'll do it myself, and I'll see to it that you're removed your duties here, okay? Hey. It's a guy's memorial. Leave it. I'd rather not have to do it. Get out of my way. I'll do it myself. Don't touch, don't touch that. Don't touch that. Hey, it's not for you to tell me what to do on my own You're property. right. I'm just going to no. suggest, then, that you don't touch that. Give me a hold. Hey, fellas, just calm what? down. Get out of right. my way. Hey, 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 don't touch. Are you blocking me from my own front door? No, I don't mind. You want to go in? Don't block my door, pal. You want to go in, go in. Just don't touch the man's memorial. What's wrong with you? Get out of my way. No problem. Just be cool. I want that cleaned out. I'll pick that up. I'll put him back. Believe him. staying in the next room. He hears a shot, then another. Sees his lamp get hit and go flying across the room. We're here for ident. So the bullet comes zinging through the wall, through the lamp, ends up in the bathroom. The guy says if he hadn't been lying down banging his girlfriend, he would have got it in the teeth. <laughs> He'd have been coming and going at the same time. You ever hear the story of those uh, two carpenters? In Montreal. Yeah, in Montreal. Uh, these two homicide dicks think that these two carpet layers staying in this motel are bank robbers. Instead of calling out the troops, they go in blasting. What, are these guys friends of yours? No. Oh, I thought that's why you were telling the story. It's his story. He brought it up. Oh, yeah. I thought he said carpet bankers. <laughs> voila. Where are the two black cases? No, they're long gone. Get an idea of them? No idea on the body. Registered under the name James Blight. Probably an alias. I'm working on it. We also found this. Nine mil Glock. Might be registered. That could be the weapon used on our victims. Hmm. Check out the bed. What he's lying on top of. It's an old map of some kind. Yeah, that's really old. Take a look at that. That's gotta be worth something.
Yep. Hi. Right. You went down to see Mr. Sims? Oh, yeah. And how did that go? Yeah, it went pretty good. We had a conversation and everything. Then tell me why he's seeking a restraining order against you. Could it be because um, he's a prick? Well, if you don't obey that order, he's going to bring a lawsuit against you and this office. This is a man who threw a bucket of cold water on another man who was sleeping peacefully in a doorway. You don't know that. I don't not know that. Given your expressed desire for the position of chief coroner, you may want to consider extending an olive branch to a very influential member of our civic community. Yes, see there, right there. That's exactly the difference between you and me in a nutshell, Jimmy. You don't seem to think uh, the job requires calling somebody on their shit even when they deserve it. That is not the job as described by the Coroner's Act. I know that. Well, maybe you goddamn should be. And you are free to discuss your personal opinion on your own time, and not as a representative of this office. You got a couple of people coming up here with their rare books, their maps, documents, whatever they are. They get shot, and we're supposed to buy that's a coincidence. Come on, you knew they were coming. I didn't know they were coming. They said they might come by. Why the hell didn't you say that before? Because from the description they gave me of the maps, I thought that at least part of the collection had been stolen a couple of years ago from a collector in France. You knew they were stolen, and you made the appointment anyway. Why don't you open up that safe for me? Look, I, I wanted to see the materials. I admit that. But um, I didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, well, you haven't done anything right yet, either. Now, who did you tell about these maps or whatever and this appointment that you made? Nobody. I kept it to myself. What's that? My wedding album. Gotcha. In case of fire or something. It's irreplaceable. And the map? What would that be worth? I don't know now that it's damaged. Before it got blood soaked. It's the Appian map of the world, published in 16th century. Are you hard of hearing? Christ, do you ask you how much is it worth? At least a half a million dollars. I have some information on what was in the collection when it was originally stolen. That would be helpful. Who'd have thought people would be shooting each other up over a map of the world? Oh, we sure as hell could use a map ourselves. I know I could anyway. <laughs> Ain't the territory, Leo. Yeah, that's for damn sure. Hey, I'm hungry. You wanna go get something to eat, or uh, you got plans? Nope, Sonny's working late. Uh, what are you thinking, Chinese? I had that last night. Oh, this place has Canadian and Chinese food. What's Canadian food? What do you mean, like, what's on the menu? No, what's Canadian food? I never could figure that one out. <laughs> so that's your story, huh? All right, here's what you're going to do for me now. I want you to read your statement here over from top to bottom, twice. Making sure everything you say is the absolute and complete truth. Do you understand me? Good. And when you're done, and it's full and complete, I'll come back in here and you can sign it in front of me. So, so he says he eats a lot of takeout. That's why he's got the drawer full of chopsticks. Did he explain why he's got them all sharpened? Yeah. He says that way he can stab at his egg rolls because he can never work out how to pick them up. Right. Did he say how he happened to shoot the woman in the eye? He claims he was shooting at a pigeon and missed. Says he wasn't even aware the victim had been hit, let alone died. Well, he's obviously lying about that, too. I'm going to have a few words before the psychiatrist gets to him. Oh, hey, 
Did you want me to let you know if the pound calls about the dog? Dog? Yeah, the victim's Jack Russell Terrier. Should I let you know if the pound calls? What for? Uh, no reason. Just sounded like you might want him is all. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I know. Well, let me know. Back along the coast to come and by my rainy ghost We had ourselves a little toast It is to get better It's later than you think, my friend And better soon you at the end And there's no celebration for the one Hesitation This is only just a glimpse You've only got your fingerprints They call it insignificance And brother, they ain't lying Get the gravitation pull Movies are the miracle And while those wheels are playing You'll forget that you're decaying The pipers at the gates of dawn He's playing good Just not a sun Sing and snap We'll all be gone And not a tree will miss us Everyone you ever knew Could die and would have made it You just thousand years of living without 